Welcome back to Victoria's Kitchen, guys. I'm Chef Victoria Elizabeth. And I'm Mom. And we are so glad that you're here today. Yeah. So we are getting out of the kitchen. Woo, we are going to Raleigh. Raleigh. Carolina. We are on a quest for new recipes. Yes. So shoot, you guys. Let's just jump right in. Right into the show. To Raleigh we go. All right, so today we are taking the Amtrak. Woo! <laughs> We're headed to a rally. Yes, we are. And we, we got a book bag, so that's book, book bag check, book bag check. All right, we're just gonna go explore. We have no plans. No. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we don't even have plans to stay yet. We're just gonna find it when we get there. We're just gonna. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no. I thought she already had a place to stay and everything. No, no. Well, I, I, I figured out which hotels had pools. We wanted to go swimming because we didn't go swimming all summer. Wow, she did like. Wow, okay. Yeah, so so we don't know what restaurants are checking out. Nope. We're, we're scouting new ideas. Mm -hmm. So we don't know what restaurants are checking out. We don't know what, where we're staying. Nope. Do we have money? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I got money. You got money? You got your no, purse? No, no, no. She, she always says she don't have money. I don't. I don't have any money. Hey, Mom, can we get something to drink? Hey, Mom, can we get a snack? You never have money. No, she always says her purse and it's loaded. Her bank account know. never decreases. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. We have a joint account, I can tell. Mm. She can't tell. Because it declines like every day, you know? Spending every dollars. Day. Spending dollars like every day. Anyway, let's go get on the train. <laughs> let's go. Okay, this is a little outtake. She's flipping out because I said we didn't have a place to stay. She thought I really did look it, so she thought I was just joking for the camera. But I wasn't joking. She's stressing. She's stressing. Oh, let's get there first. Outside. We didn't book a car. We have feet. You see your shoes? That's your transportation. These shoes? I can't get these shoes dirty. Oh, why not? Do you see these shoes? Nobody does spicy chicken and eat with our spicy nuts. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna book us a place to stay. We're gonna stay at the uh, Root Motel Inn. Chef, what do you have there to eat? The, uh, I can't hear you, Chef. Chicken and waffle sandwich. 
All right. It's like they said. What kind of? Is it rosemary waffles or something? Well, I think it's rosemary and onion. That's what it looks like. All right. All right. We gotta see you eat this. It's huge. Oh wait, 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 chef. What's that? Let me Is look at it. Some syrup. Oh, like a maple syrup. Can you even open your mouth that big? <laughs> How is it? Like, what are you feeling? That's good. Is it? The place is a little different. It's got um, eggs on the Caesar salad. I got some crab cakes. All right, let me, let's zoom in on that. You want to look that? Look that up. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Gorgeous. That waffle was like this big. Ooh, I don't know how I like bit into it. I had to unhit it by y'all and bite it. It was crazy, but come on, tell us. Okay, what are the what were the real flavors that you tasted? So I was definitely tasting the rose when I was getting a little bit of that onion. Okay. And then the chicken it was juicy and crunchy, and then it kind of all was together. Hotel. Oh, there's somebody's gonna party next door to us. <laughs> oh Lord, please. That'd be too. That's really cool. Looks nice. Hey, looks nice. Looks just like the uh, yeah. We have our little work area and our little living. It's freezing. All right. All right, trip. It's ending. It's coming to an end. It's coming to a big, huge end. It's okay. We are at the Union Station now. But yes, I had fun. Me fun. too. Me too. And yeah. all right, back to Charlotte. You ready to go back? Let's go. Did you do all your homework? Uh, yeah. That didn't sound like she really did all her homework. I did. All right. You ready for school tomorrow? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. So, how's this going? So, what are you doing? What, what you got? What you got? What you got? Um, so, now I'm measuring out two things of our batter for our chicken. 
Okay. So we're going to try out coriander. Uh, oh, you made little labels. So and we're going to try out cumin. All right. See, okay. Let's see. The cumin is going to give it like more of like a, a spunky kind of mm -hmm. spice. So, all right. I got you. Oh, what's that? Himalayan pink soap? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. What was so, that? That was This was cumin. cumin. And I kind of thought the flavors would clash because of the smell. Because I'm just thinking of when we went to Raleigh and we had it. Yeah. But, like, the chicken is really good, but it's not really good with the syrup. So yeah. I think coriander might be a best bet, but let's go ahead and make that. All right, you still want to try it with the thyme? Yeah. All right, we'll try with thyme too. Rosemary, thyme. I think that all goes together. So let, mm -hmm. maybe that might be the perfect mix but let's just keep going all right I'm not gonna throw anything. I'm just holding it up here. <laughs> Waffle bite. Now who's gonna clean the floor? <sighs> oh, okay, alright. I think I think we you know what? <laughs> Why'd you kick on it point blank, right? did a matrix move. I put the camera down and couldn't get that on camera. That was a good one. Ah! <laughs> Alright, last waffle. Oh, no, no, she's coming here. <laughs> ah! You! And I started. Oh, okay. All right. Time to go. <laughs> the waffle fight. <laughs> All right. Looks like you've hit it. Uh, yeah. So proud of you. Let's do a show. Woo! Welcome back to Victoria's Kitchen, guys. Today we're making chicken and waffles. So my waffles are infused with rosemary and a little onion, which is going to be so delicious. And then my chicken is infused with thyme. So let's get cooking. So we're gonna first start on our waffle batter. We have a uh, flour here, and we're gonna throw some milk in there. Throw some whole milk. And we're gonna throw some butter in there. And then crack an egg. And I went to this place in Raleigh, guys, and they gave me the inspiration to do this dish. I'm so ready for y'all to try it. 
And then we have some cornstarch. Put that in there. Sugar. And then we have our rosemary. Our minced garlic. And last, our onion powder. So we're just gonna go ahead and give that a good stir. And guys, to get this recipe, you can go on my website, victoriacooks.com, so you can learn how to make these waffles. Let's give it a good stir. a nice good stir so we get rosemary in every single bite of our waffle and it's like you can smell the rosemary already coming out into the waffle okay our waffle batter is done and you want to make sure you let the waffle sit so now let's get started on our chicken we're going to preheat our oil to medium high heat we just have it in like a little pot so we can give it our um so we can give it a good deep fry Okay, so we have our um, ingredients for our batter for our chicken. So we got some more flour. We're gonna throw some thyme in there. The thyme comes out really well into the dish. It goes great with the syrup and it goes great with the rosemary. It's so good. And then we have some salt and pepper. Smoked paprika to give it that color and that flavor. Onion powder and garlic powder. That adds another element. And a great shortcut I can I use is I put it in a bag so I can just shake it up in the bag. And then also it's great for the chicken so the chicken gets all the seasonings in there too. Make sure everything's in there. Give that a good shake. You wanna make sure it's kinda like one color. And now let's start seasoning our chicken. So we have one chicken breast here. I just cut it up. And then we have milk and a egg and then some water. So we're gonna put some, just some salt and pepper on the chicken. Not a lot, cause do remember salt and pepper is in our flour. And we're gonna throw some whole milk in there. And then we're gonna use a egg white. And so the egg white gives it that good crunch. And then so we get the color in there, we also had the paprika. So we're just gonna kinda mix that up a little bit. You're gonna basically kinda whisk it with your hands. So the, the salt and pepper gets on the chicken and the milk and the eggs come together. Okay. So we're gonna put the chicken in our bag. And you can see how they're just cut nice and even, not too big and not too small. And then we're gonna give that a nice good shake. Shake it up real good. And I like to hold the back at the top so you get a little air at the bottom so it's easier to shake. Give that a good shake. And then we're gonna dip it in water. I almost forgot a plate we need. a plate, so you can just put it on a plate. So take the chicken out, just put it on a plate so we know what chicken we did and didn't do. Cause that was gonna be a little awkward if you just dip, kept dipping the same piece of chicken. 
10. And we're not gonna swirl the chicken around in the water. We're just gonna just do a little dip, just like that. Throw it back in there. Just enough to just enough to kind of coat the chicken. Okay. Our last little bit of chicken. Okay, so this is gonna be our last shake, and you wanna make sure you get flour on every part of the chicken. Just how the flour was on the plate, you wanna make sure it's just like that. You don't want any wet spots, you want all you want it all covered in flour. So you can kind of move it around, kind of toss it around. Kind of separate the, separate them a little bit. Okay, and our oil should be ready for our chicken too. So we're gonna do a little test here. I like to do is take some flour and just kind of put it right into the oil. And the way you'll know that it's ready is if the if the flour goes down to the bottom of the pan or your pot, then it's not ready. But if it just stays at the top, it's ready. So our chicken is ready for us. Okay, so this is how your chicken should look. Coated everywhere, there's no wet spots. But our oil's ready. Okay, so these are beautifully golden brown. And they smell delicious. And the oil will have a nice good temperature. And we're gonna throw two more in there. And now our chicken is completely done. There we go. Nice and golden brown. Looking good. So let's go to our waffles. I just heard the waffle make your beef, so let's go. Okay, so first about the waffle iron, you're gonna set it to like where it's right in the middle of light and dark. So we have that good uh, color on our waffle. So we're gonna do a little spray oil, spray here. Make sure you get every part so it doesn't stick. Okay, then we have our waffle batter. And you might be noticing that it's a little thick, but that's also because it's a savory waffle. So it's gonna be fine. I'm, it's gonna be just fine, it's looking good. So you're just gonna put it in the middle, then you're gonna spread it around. Okay. And give that a turn. Okay, while this waffle's uh, over here cooking, let's go ahead and get everything set up. So we're gonna grab a plate. And then grab our chicken. So delicious, great color. And then I'm also gonna go grab some syrup. So you got some syrup here. Now it's the waiting game. We just gotta wait for our waffle to be done. So our waffle maker has stopped smoking, so that's a way you know it's done. Wow, look at that. Golden brown. And we're gonna go ahead and add another one in so we get our sandwich. Okay, just remember right in the center. And then spread it around. Just right in a little circle. Okay, so we're gonna put about two pieces of chicken here. And let's see if we're gonna put syrup on the top so you can just get syrup on the right. Okay, 
Okay, so our waffle is done. Nice and golden brown like the last one. Okay, and I think I might garnish it with some rose there. Let's go to the fridge and get that. Okay, I got my syrup. So it's a little syrup doesn't like a little mess on the plate sometimes. Then, then so, throw some rosemary just right there. And guys, this messy plate might be messy, but it's looking good. And I'm so ready to try it. Here we go. Okay. Mmm. Guys, this is so good. Amazing. The flavors come together. The syrup just ties everything in. But guys, I will see you next time. Bye. That was so much fun. Yeah, it was great getting out. I'm so excited and happy that we just went yeah. on our little trip. We just picked the day and we went. And we yeah. picked the city. That was fun. That was fun. That was real fun. We got to do that again. Yeah, we do. We do. So, how do they reach the chef? Well, um, my new website, turkeys.com, goes to that for recipes and also just to learn more about me. And then on Instagram and Facebook at Debbie Troy Elizabeth. And also Twitter. I hope you remember Twitter. last show I talked about getting to 300 followers on Twitter. So we would start doing tweets. So we're still going to keep that going. Okay? 300. 300. I said 30. 300. 300. 300. Okay? So, Chef. Chef Victoria E. Yeah, it was Elizabeth. No Elizabeth. Long, no so Elizabeth. just E. <laughs> and then on YouTube at Victoria's Kitchen if you missed any shows or you just want to watch it again. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And hey, when you go to victoriacooks.com, go recipes and today's recipe. Yeah. Because you asked for it, we'll be on our website. You can comment, like, you know, you can just find out all the good stuff on there. So. Yeah, exactly. So alright, Chef. Well, we will see you guys soon. See you next time. Bye. Bye.